Hi everybody, Iron Dog 63 here. This is how we make baked goulash. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, this is how our goulash is made. So, if you take a look at it. Basically all it is is stewed tomatoes, hamburger, tomato juice, and onions. That's basically what goulash is, our take on it. It looks delicious just like it is. I, uh, I add a little Parmesan cheese into it. And I mix that in before I put it into the bacon pan. It gives it a better texture, a little more cheese in it. Makes it taste a lot better. There it is, it's all mixed up. Here's my little bacon pan. This is actually a restaurant style pan. It's black, hardly anything ever sticks in it, but I spray coated it with some spray pan. Uh, so just in case it doesn't stick. You know, because nobody likes clean and baked off uh, cheese off the pan anyways. Anyways, there it is inside the pan. Now I'm going to shred up some mozzarella. I'm not going to show you how to shred up mozzarella because everybody knows how to shred up mozzarella in a grated uh, a grater. But I will tell you one thing. If you shred up mozzarella, it's much better for you than buying the shredded mozzarella already because shredded cheese has cellulose put into it. And cellulose is a wood product. And what that does is they powder the shredded cheese so it doesn't stick together so it's light and fluffy in the bag. Trust me, I've seen a lot of videos on it. That's why they do it. There you go. That is the shredded cheese right there. Turned out pretty nice. I like the way this... I have a really nice grater. Grater's got the... It's got the lip on it and stuff. It's <coughs> I call it a, a pizza scraper or whatever, so you can scrape or a dough scraper. But uh, it makes it nice. So I'm going to add the Parmesan, or the, the mozzarella I mean. And you just sprinkle it over the top. Make sure everything gets a nice, good layer. This is 8 ounces of cheese. So now I'll put a nice layer on it. So grandkids are all running around right now but uh eight inches or eight ounces of cheese give it a nice layer nice little texture so, use the scraper might as well get all that goodness on there you know, Still got a few pieces that won't come off, but we'll get it. Anyways, you uh, get a nice layer of cheese on here, and you can also put any other kind of cheese on here if you want. Um, I might put some jalapeno cheese on top of this. I have to go ask the missus and see if she wants that on there or not. I'll be right back. Uh, she said she didn't want any uh, hot pepper cheese on it, so that's fine. Now, if you guys ever go to the Dollar Tree, get the Reynolds wrappers. Uh, in fact, this was the last one in the package. But they're uh, 14 inches by 10 inches. And they're big enough to cover this pan right here. Okay? Nice quality aluminum foil. I'll put that on there. I'm going to cover that with aluminum foil. I'm going to bake it at 350. I'm going to bake it for about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to take the, the cover off. And I'm going to bake it for about 15 minutes for the cover off to brown the cheese. And it should turn out really, really good. I'll bring you back after it's done.
I thought I would uh, make some garlic bread to go with this. So uh, you stick with me and I'll show you how I do it. This right here is about three tablespoons of melted butter and about a little over a half a tablespoon of garlic powder. Now, I'm going to I just dip my finger in there to test it, and it does have a lot of garlic taste to it, so this should be good. But you just take your brush and apply it like so. Give it a nice coating. Make sure you get it all over the, the bread. And by the way, these are the new Pepperidge Farm sausage buns. So. I have them and I didn't need them, so uh, I'm gonna the thicker pieces. I think I'm gonna push down with some, compress them a little bit, and I'm gonna put the butter on them. Probably the easiest thing to do is just pour some out on it. There we go, nice and buttery. There, we go. look at that. That's where you want it. Let that garlic buttery goodness soak right in because it's going to bake and it's going to toast so it'll be all good let it all bake in toast in I got uh, about 22 minutes left on uh, uh, garlic bread before it comes. I take the aluminum foil off. So. I got some on the pan and you know just spread it around. Get it on in there. Get some of that goodness in there. And I will put these in the oven. And I'll pull them out when the, the goulash is done. Okay, that's what it looks like right now. The cheese is melted. It's hot, but I'm going to brown it. And right there is the garlic toast. That's almost done. I'm going to put it in for a few minutes and brown it some more. But I'm going to brown that and then dinner will be done and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. That is the garlic uh, the baked uh, goulash with the cheese. Look at all that yummy goodness. It's been browned. Don't get any better than that. I put this goulash up against anybody's goulash. And there's the garlic bread. And all those are is just sausage buns. Or hot dog buns, if you want to call them hot dog buns. But these are made just for, you know, the big bratwurst or something like that. And, uh, can't get garlic bread any easier than that, people. There's no way you can get it any easier than that. And it's going to go really good with this. This is Iron Dog 63 saying, if you are a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber... Please like and subscribe. Please like the video. If you don't want to subscribe, that's fine. But just uh, give me a thumbs up and like the video. And as always, God bless and have a good day. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you get the chance, make this. It's not hard. It really is easy. And it really is tasty. And it's good for you.
well, not maybe not, but it's good for you. This is Iron Dog saying goodbye. Have a good day. Thank you.